C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Portal. My name is Soros88 and today we are starting the second part of the series. We already played Portal. It was six episodes, quite a, a, a quick gameplay. But now we're starting Portal 2. And now this is a longer game. And uh, again, I want to make a disclaimer a little bit at the beginning of the episode. Uh, I've already played this game multiple times. I've played it like four or five times at least. <laughs> so I do know what happens and how it happens. But it's been quite a while since I revisited this game. I think it's been like four or five years since I last played this game. So maybe not all the details will be fresh in my mind. Uh, so yeah, it will be fun to revisit it, to play it again, to go back to Aperture Science and to go back to GLaDOS. So yeah, <laughs> uh, I guess there's nothing else uh, to say except please enjoy, have fun and stick with us for the journey. So let's begin. suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. All right. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness <laughs> exercise. Okay, that was quick. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. All right. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Okay. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Now, uh, that wasn't relaxing at all. But, uh, yeah, we're supposed to be the same character. And if you remember, when we ended last series in, in episode 6, someone was dragging us back to Aperture Science, so... I guess we've been here 15 days? 50 days? 50, if I remember well. So, yeah. Just keep that in mind. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This is Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door at any time? Hello? No. Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. I'll just open the door. That's too aggressive. That's too aggressive. Why not open the door? Write us a letter. Ha! Ah! Oh God! You look um good, looking good actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. <laughs> it's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Jesus Christ. You all right down there? Can you hear me? I mean, sure. <laughs> the body marks here in the in the mattress. Oh my god. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not <laughs> out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. <laughs> but don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying? At yeah, all? sure. Does this make any sense? Just yeah. tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. <laughs> say it. Apple. 
Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core All right. safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. And right away we are just like, Okay, look, whoa. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Jesus. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. <laughs> Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? <laughs> All right, so no, I hear that one. I hear that one. The massive scale of this place, man. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not yeah. dead. Uh -huh. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh, man. Jesus. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. <laughs> uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Oh, man. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Jesus. The chaos, man. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I, I miss so much this, this type of spirit. humor. Yeah, jumping. You, you told me I was good at jumping, right? But okay, as you can see, quite a long time has passed since we last were in these corridors and in, in these facilities. We never got a glimpse to how massive they were. I mean, you could imagine just uh, because of the um, scale of the first game, right? But here, I mean, we are shown, like, properly shown how big this place was. And yeah, since many, many years, I've always wondered how many years, because I haven't gotten like that deep into the lore, but yeah, I, I mean, at least the, the machine was like four or, or five, nine. So if, 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 it was, if it was four, that means like uh, at least 300 years, maybe? No, 300 is a lot, right? If it was five years. Five numbers. Oh. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond yep. our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Okay, so again, as I told you, we are still the same person. This is our new version of, of Shell, the character of the first uh, game. So, uh, as I was mentioning, yeah, this, this place has been abandoned for a long time, and this actually relates to the games from... Uh, Valve as well, which are Half-Life and Half-Life 2. The apocalyptic events are actually the, the events from those games. And that's why, uh, well, it ties with us killing GLaDOS in the last game. 
So GLaDOS is now no longer in charge of the uh, installations of Aperture Science and that's why uh, the installations just go to this state. They just go to waste. <laughs> so the classical radio, I don't think I can pick it up right now. Yeah, no, I cannot do that. Oh, yeah, I can. At least the music is not like doo 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 doo. <laughs> Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. <laughs> And I really like the fact that uh, the developers went with this like post-apocalyptic uh, look for Aperture Science after the show that they gave us in the first game. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Yep. I mean, I think if it's broken, maybe I can... Oh, no, I, I thought maybe I could carry the, the cube with me, but yeah. I mean, uh, basically Portal serves a little bit as a tutorial for this game, because yeah, these are the same dynamics and all that stuff. So what you learned on the first one applies as well for the second one. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. <laughs> so nothing to worry about, right? The cameras are off. But at least the portals still work. I wonder if I could just break this, but yeah, I can't. <laughs> Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. The <laughs> Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Yeah, right. All the debris, <laughs> the turrets, the cubes. Oh man, this place is a myth. I really love the aesthetics of the post apocalyptic aperture science. <laughs> If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sending a cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. No, I needed to know what would happen. Also, I love the fact that they made actual videos like showcasing the post apocalyptic scenarios. So for example, Animal King Takeover. And it's just a giant turret dropping onto the. Uh, United Nations and everyone just praising it. <laughs> okay, second test chamber. Hey! hey, you made hey. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Oh! Nope. I'm dead. And I don't know if you remember. That's important. Should have asked that first. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. Still alive. I'll wait one hour. 
then I'll come back and what a throwback. I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. <laughs> Alright? Brilliant. Go team! <laughs> See you in an hour, hopefully. Okay. If you're not dead. Yeah, sure. Sure, man. But if you remember, in the last game there was somebody helping us. Which makes this a uh, bigger mystery. Because then we have these murals telling us the story of the game. So the scientists create GLaDOS. GLaDOS loses control of herself and kills everyone. With venom and gas and all that stuff. Then GLaDOS uh, plays with Chell and promises the cake. The companion cube is here. And of course, Chell leaves Aperture Science, she wins. And this person gets the portal gun as well. And there's a portrait of us. So that's... That's interesting. To say the least. The funny thing is someone dragged us back. And here we have a clock. Well, not a clock, but the moon cycle. Which is going to be a little bit of an important thing. <laughs> so remember this. And let's take the gun. Yep. Just taking the time to look at these drawings. Again, if you didn't do, please uh, look out on the internet the comic book for Ratman, which is uh, the person that actually lived in the Aperture Science uh, installations on the first game. And yeah, if you if you read that comic, you'll understand a lot of things. So I guess let's just get out of here even though this is one of the most beautiful places <laughs> but yeah let's just continue we're coming back to aperture science but in ruins which is interesting and here we go some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. <laughs> to share. Oh man, the humor in this game is amazing. It's just love Good. it. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> I love the, the fact that they are still talking about, like, bureaucracy, even after the world has ended. I mean, it's just... yeah, it's big comedy. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in <laughs> three, two, one. Yeah, that definitely will help me face death. Oh, my music. This actually, I think it's actually uh, one of the chambers that we played on the first one. Huh. Didn't realize that. But yeah, I think this is actually one of those chambers. And 
this one as well. I'm guessing it is, yeah. This one's actually the same one. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Yeah, this was the chamber where she just told us that uh, they were not going to uh, watch us. And then once we reached here, she just said like, yeah, we were watching you. And we are not going to tell any more lies anymore. <laughs> but of course, this was just the hole. And now we can go over here, but also over here. Unreason. A cat, moon, a cube with cat ears, and some math being made. Yeah, this mysterious person is quite interesting as well. Monitors. Okay. Let's keep going. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <laughs> okay. Chamber 5. Now it starts to get interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. This opens up this. lost it. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. <laughs> This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> God help you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep. 
If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future <laughs> starts with you. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> you are now trapped here, man. Oh, the music. I really love the music of this game. Calculate a little bit just so it's properly placed, and I think that should be it. Yep, there we go. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. <laughs> Return to your tribe and send back someone better qualified, right? Okay, yeah, I mean that makes sense And on that note <laughs> We're actually going to finish uh, Today's episode because I've been going for a little bit longer than I wanted uh, So yeah, I think that's it for today's episode guys I really hope you're enjoying and if you are please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel And I'll see you in the next uh, testing chamber of portal 2 See ya.